We're heading to Sainsbury's and their new range of craft beer. This one is from Arbor and it's called My Little Sabrony. It's got Sabro hops exclusively in this, available for just £3.20. But what's it going to be like? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this beer. Make sure it's showing it the right way. This is from Arbor Ales and it's called My Little Sabrony. It's a single hop American Pale Ale. Comes in at 5% and the single hop, including the name, Sabro Hop. Now Sabro is one of those sort of hops that really made a big sort of it sort of really exploded, I think, on the scene last year. And it seemed to be in more and more beers. And it's still in a lot of beers now. It seems to be a fairly new modern hop. Has very distinctive flavours and aromas of pineapple, lime, coconut. But I do find it can be quite different depending on the sort of beer that you have. And I find that it's better when it's part of a part of a, a number of different hops, not on its own. But this is just Sabro. So, if you love Sabro, you'll probably love this beer. If you're not sure on Sabro, um, then maybe it's not for you. But I'm interested in this one. I, be, I was interested in this one last year because obviously this is now available in Sainsbury's, £3.20 for a 440ml. Obviously, Arbor Ales, you've seen the reviews on the channel, um, usually do pint cans. So it's a bit weird having a small can of this. But being in supermarkets, it's great that you can now get our brows in supermarkets. And I'm I've been really excited a little bit about this one because last year when I was all into Sabro, then I sort of went off Sabro and I thought, I'm not really interested. And then it appears in Sainsbury's. I think there's that beer that you wanted to drink last year, but you never managed to get hold of it or never got round to drinking it. And it's there, easily available. Buy it, drink it. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm into Sabro anymore. So that's my sort of quandary of this one. Maybe I'm going to open this up and go, yeah, this is a superb beer. We've had great Sabro beers, again, with, with other hops as well. But this is an American Pal Out, so it makes me think that it's not going to be, well, it is light and very New England-esque. Um, obviously, it's a pale opposed to an IPA, so it's going to be lighter. So that may work for it. Let's see. So beer in a glass, there's a lot of carbonation. You can see those bubbles it looks really, really fizzy. I poured it a bit badly. We've got three fingers of, uh, you know, fairly compact. There's a lot of bubbles in that. You can see the bubbles in that in that sort of head. So I don't think that's going to sort of hang around too long. It's a hazy sort of orangey colour. And you can see at the bottom there, it's a little bit lighter. You can, you can almost see through it at the bottom. And already I'm getting some real great, real juicy, fruity aromas. But let's get a proper smell. Well... That doesn't smell like the Sabro hop smell. It smells like tutti frutti sweets, jelly tots even. It's got a real sort of really sweet mixture of, of citrus fruits, oranges, lemons, limes. Then your passion fruit, papaya, peach and apricot. And a bit of pineapple, which is a bit weird because usually the pineapple is out front. I'm, I'm more excited about this now because it smells really great. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. No, that tastes like it's got sabro in it. Firstly, the mouthfeel. It's very light. It's a little bit carbonated. It's... It's quite thin in terms of its body, which is it's a bit of a weird one, really, because when Sabro is used a lot more in New England IPAs now, it's used more in, in the sort of bigger sort of beers, IPAs, double IPAs, not used as much in pails. So it's weird that it's it's in this for me. It's very sort of light. And and, and it's typical of a pile out of a typical pile out in terms of it's very light and it's a little bit more fizzy and carbonated than 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 you would expect from say an IPA. Flavour wise, straight away, no mistaking that this has got a Sabro hop in it. 
So it has that pineapple and coconut flavor. The coconut is quite strong in this actually. I mean, we've had Sabro in recent beers mixed with, when they're mixed with others, and you get that little bit of pineapple and the lime seems to be the one that comes through. But not always, you don't always get that coconut, but this has got a real, like the aromas were quite sweet, but I didn't really pick up coconut from the aromas, but the taste, coconut really hits you. You think, oh, this is really coconutty. And then it's got, it's got that nice sort of real sweet sort of tin pineapple chunks with coconut. I wouldn't say that the lime is as big in there, but it has that sort of, what I always sort of really associate, the coconut and the and the pineapple with that sort of pina colada. It's like having a Malibu and pineapple. It's, it's got that flavor. You can't, you taste it, you think, what is that flavor? And that's what it is for me. That's a, that's a Malibu, the, that flavor. It's nice. I, I think the flavor is pretty good, actually. It's nicely balanced. And it has that sweet coconut flavor that's not off putting it's still quite light. But that's about it. You know, you're, you've got a bit of citrus. You're not getting much in terms of grapefruit. You're not really getting a lot of other tropicals. It's just got that sort of pina colada sort of flavor. It's let down a little bit by the fact that it's too carbonated for me even at a pale ale level. It means it's it's light, it's refreshing, it's got that real sort of, you know, that zesty cuttingness in it that, that, that when you drink it like when you drink in a lager. Um, so on a hot summer day, that will go down a treat. And it's pretty hot here today, to be honest. But it's, but for me, it's a little bit too carbonated. I, I would like a little bit more body. I, I like a little bit more maybe more oats in it, it'll just make it a bit more balanced beer. But it's still pretty good. And if you love Sabro, it's definitely worth a try. Um, and you can get this from supermarket at £3.20. Yes, it's only in a 440ml can, opposed to your big pint cans that you can buy this from. Yeah, you know, you can, if you pick, if you see this in a bottle shop, and it's in a big can, and it pick it up, because I, I think it probably would work out about the same. You could buy big cans of this for probably a little bit over £4, so, four pounds or three pound 20 for a small can you know it's pretty much evens itself out it's a really nice refreshing if you like pale owls this one's a bit different because it's got sabro and it has that real coconut kick um but makes it a real a real interesting and different flavor let's get some scores Okay, the scores are in for My Little Sabrony by Arbor Owls, available in Sainsbury's for £3.20 for a 440ml can. 5% is a par American Pale Owl. It's a good beer. It's a, it's a good, solid beer. If you like Sabro Hops, you'll love it. If you don't like Sabro Hops, you might not like it because it is, I mean, it's a single hop um, beer, so it's going to have strong characters as a Sabro. But the first things first was aroma. So I was quite surprised really because although the smell has developed since when I first opened it, it to me it had a real sort of jelly tots, a real sweet, fruity sort of smell that was really, really inviting and really wanted me to, to makes me want to drink it. But now when I smell it, yeah, I'm picking up those sweet jelly tots, but I'm also picking up the big pineapple and coconut aromas, which is obviously very typical of a Sabro hop. Still smells pretty good, really inviting. I mean, the one thing to say about Sabro, it's a real aromatic hop. It's really, it's it's big in terms of what it does, you know. There's no subtleties about it. Um, obviously, it depends on how, how you brew in or the rest of it, but generally, it's not a subtle hop. It has a very, very distinct, easy to, uh, you can easily associate, um, work out the hop if you know the Sabro hop, because it just jumps out, it's very unique. Aroma though, I think it's a pretty damn good smelling beer. If you if you'd bought this in the supermarket because you like the sort of, I don't know what you is that is that like almost like a pride sort of uh, rainbow on there, and you pick that up and go, that looks pretty good, and you take and you smell it for the first time, you think, wow, I've never smelled beer like that, and that's this is why I'm trying to put myself in the in the in the in the in the shoes of a consumer that just wants to try craft beer, like I did all those, you know, a year or plus ago. 
and then think, oh, what's that beer going to be like? I love the can. Oh, it looks interesting. It says it's got Sabro hops and, you know, I would have known what, what the difference between any sort of hops were back then. And I would have gone, yeah, I'll give that a try. And then smelt it and then thought, wow, it smells good. And then tasted it. And again, thought very, very different. But I'm like rattling already. I want to make this quick. Aroma, I'm giving it 16, a pretty high score. Appearance, well, it's it's a lovely looking beer. I mean, it's it's got that sort of yellowy, it looked a bit orange, but now it's looking much more yellowy, even, you know, yeah. But you've got like a little slightly finger of, a sliver of white head there. It's a bit clearer, but it's a lovely looking pal out. I'm giving it a solid eight out of 10. Flavor wise, well, the flavor is very distinctive of a Sabro hop. So you get that big hit of pineapple, coconut. It's not much in terms of the lime kick in there. It's all very citrusy and fresh, um, and it's it's really pleasant. If you don't like coconut taste, though, it, it, the coconut is a little bit more overpowering in this beer than some other times when you use Sabro hop with other hops. So if you love that sort of flavour, then you'll love this. I think in terms of flavour, in terms of the mouthfeel, it's a little bit disappointing. It's a little bit too light. And it's a little bit overly carbonated for me. I would have liked it to be a little bit more thicker in terms of the mouthfeel. I mean, it is a palau though. Um, and the carbonation just a little bit toned down a little bit, I think. So I'm giving it 33 for flavour. Value for money. Well, I think, you know, it's, okay, it's 5% with one hop. But this is a real unique sort of beer in terms of using those Sabro hops. And for £3.20, I think that's good value for money. It's a good beer. It's, a, it's much better than a lot of pale hours out there. So I'm giving it a nine for value. And then my overall experience, well, I mean, really what it comes down to is if, how much you like Sabro hops. If you like Sabro hops, this is a really great pile out. If you're indifferent about Sabro hops, I think you'll enjoy it because it's light, it's easy to drink. There's some real nice, strong pineapple and coconut flavors, citrus flavors in there. And and, and I think that that's, um, it, it may, I would drink this again because it, it goes down really well. A little bit too carbonated, but that's maybe a personal preference because I'm more into IPAs and parallels. But I'm giving it a solid 13 for my overall experience. Tighten those scores up, we get a recommended 79. So it's really, it's only one point away from being a highly recommended, but it's still a recommended beer. And I think in terms of a supermarket beer, this is a very good beer. So my little Sabrina, it's been out a while before, I mean, it's only just been, it's, it's only in the last sort of month or so that it's appeared in Sainsbury's, but it has been out probably at least, at least six months, if not nine months. Um, so there may be a lot of people out there that have had it. What do you think? You know, would you buy this more regularly? Now you can get it easily in the supermarkets. What do you think? I really want to know what your thoughts are on Sabro hops. Because as I said, I've said it in many videos recently that last year there was a moment where I thought that Sabro was my favourite hop of all time. But then I got to the point where I just felt a little bit overpowering with it. And I, I, I'm always a little bit nervous of seeing it now because... I just, I suppose, because I know what I'm going to get with it. I just know that those flavours are there. But sometimes I just want something a little bit more complex. But let me know what you think about Sabro hops. What do you, th you know, am I being a bit ridiculous here? Do you think, well, I don't have many beers with Sabro hops. Never really tried them before. Try them, see what you think. Let me know if I'm getting that flavour right. For me, pina colada, that's what it's all about. If you remember pina coladas, or you can still have them now if you want to have a pina colada, then that is the flavour that comes into this beer. Pineapple and coconut and a little bit of lime. Um, 79 though, it's a good beer. I'm going to slide it down slow and easy because it's a white snake beer. And until the next one, keep on rocking.